Hey guys, so as of yesterday, my Steam account is <coughs> 10 years old. Um, so I have seen through over half the lifespan of Steam. Um, so I thought I would just make a little reflective video, mainly just about how I've used Steam and how my things have changed a little bit. So, first of all, just show you my Steam profile. You can see uh, I do have a fairly expansive collection of games. So as of today, 743 unique titles, uh, as well as 498 DLC titles for those games. And of course I've played a lot of these games, um, but since a large portion of my collection is has been acquired through lucrative bundles um, I haven't like I, I would often buy a bundle for a game or a few games in it and leave the other ones so that's why I have so many unplayed games uh, and the services I use most for this are Humble Bundle and Fanatical uh, which used to be called Bundle Stars so next uh, we'll look at my Steam badges. Uh, these were put in a little bit after I joined. I think before, I'm not sure. Trading cards were definitely after. Anyway, I'm not particularly massive on the badges or the, the cards, so I, I don't have that many badges compared to my Steam level, as some people might, uh, most of my Steam level comes from just buying high level badges during the stale sales with the Steam points, um, because I just, I have loads of Steam points, I have nothing else to spend on. Uh, although I have bought some badges just for fun, because I have like how they look or like the game, I have I level 4 on TF2 uh, and I have some stuff like CBT with Yuka Kazumi Right, so let's, let's maybe look at uh, the games you know, uh, most people don't associate Steam with uh, video games um, it's actually the main reason I use it uh, okay, so obviously I've been playing games before <coughs> I used Steam, um, and I've played a lot of different games, and I very frequently play different games. I, I'm not the kind of person that sits there and dumps five, ten thousand hours into one title or just a few uh, in a genre. I've played a lot of different stuff, um, and so you know. Have that, that, that's why I have so many games because I play so many games. Um, but yeah, or compared to some people with, with uh, thousands of hours in, in an MMO, my, my entire library play time is just nothing. But let's see. So, my first Steam purchase was. Portal 2, and that was the whole reason I signed up for Steam in the first place. I saw it online, probably in a YouTube video, um, and so I installed Steam. Uh, probably convinced my dad to uh, pay for the game for me with his debit card. Uh, and then I spent, uh, I don't know, like eight hours downloading it because the internet was shit. And then I played it um, later that night. 
because it was so late when it finished. But I had to play it because Ball 2 just looked amazing. Uh, and then you can see from there, I got um, yeah, I got I got some more games for Christmas, and then you know the the Steam library staples, Gary's mod, the original Portal, um, and also uh, before this, I uh, started playing Tears 2, but that doesn't show up on the list that I've got on the screen because uh, it's free, of course, but you can see when I transitioned to a premium account um, and TF2 is my most played game on Steam by a long shot with 800 something hours at the moment uh, and like I said nothing compared to some people's time in games but you know for a free game to pick up 15% of the total play time of a library like this, I mean, I think that really just goes to show how uh, good, how important, and how, how fun I, I found it anyway. Of course, I'm going to sit here and go through a thousand Steam product activations, so I'll, I'm going to just skip out all the middle and go straight to the most recent purchases, so you can see yesterday I bought Inscription and if that was in a Steam bundle with two other games it cost five pence more, so I, I just said fuck it and got that, because I, I heard they were good as well. So we'll see. Um, recently, the biggest constituent of my playtime and my purchases have been visual novels, um, and this is going to be exacerbated by me not having access to my normal PC, living abroad, I got a laptop, it's not great, I play Quake at, I don't know, probably like 800 by 600 and it lags, um, just to give you an idea of what I'm working with. So. Some of my favourite series, uh, Yakuza, I've got all of those, um, not exactly the kinds of games I'm investing in at the moment because just not really feasible, but I guess we've, we've seen a general trend for my Steam library, um, but now I'll just talk about my most played games, of course I already mentioned TF2, um, but then we have CSGO. Uh, which was not free when I started playing, but now it is. Uh, Crusader Kings 2 was also not free when I started playing that. Um, I think when I started playing it, I th I'm pretty sure I got the game in a bundle um, eight years ago, but then didn't play it for ages, I didn't know what it was. Um, and then after I started playing it multiplayer with some friends, then I just miraculously, a humble bundle came with every single DLC in it and I bought that for like £10. So, I mean, I've, I've not even played that many games through or not. I've, I've played uh, just a couple of large games and that's what, what, get, what gets you 200 hours of Crusader Kings 2. It, it is such a massive game. Um, and now the deal with Eats Munchies next, okay, don't laugh at me about that one, I don't even know what the fuck that game is, um, someone broke into my, <coughs> my Steam account a long time ago, like a really long time ago, um, but for some reason all they did was play that shitty cheap game for near on 200 hours and they traded away my shit TF2 items and they played a little bit of Skyrim. I don't really know what the deal was with that. They put all that effort in to break into my account and then you know that time they could have earned the three pounds to buy that shit game. But I don't know. 
and as well of course obviously I'm not going to sit here and talk about my playtime in uh, you know 300, 300 games ish um, uh, unfortunately the playtime is of course not exactly representative of how I would rate the games um, I, I, I would of course say I, I really like too. I really like Counter Strike, but in terms of you know where I would stack things up on a scale, the the time isn't really what the best. Well, it is the best measure because I'm not going to sit here and tally it up for you. Uh, okay, so finally, I will just touch on my Steam DB. Uh, so today it says the lowest theme style, uh, the lowest, if every game was at its lowest value on Steam it has ever been, uh, that would total £1,950, and at the current prices everything is £7,231. Uh, now I don't know if this takes DLC into account. Uh, obviously I have quite a bit of that which would tell you up um, but also there's all sorts of weird stuff with Steam where some games don't really have the values reported accurately by SteamDB because the way they set up the purchasing is weird so like the, the, the new Hitman trilogy and a Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, stuff like that if you Go look at them and see that the way you buy them is weird. Uh, anyway, with that said, I I would estimate I've spent in the realm of three grand, maybe probably under that on my Steam account. Right. Well, that's all I really have. I know this is just uh, numbers and statistics, but. I, don't know, I find this kind of stuff interesting. Um, if you want to ask any more, or you can tell me to play something that I haven't played, or share something, just put that in the comments below. Uh, anyway, don't forget anyone likes you.